Greetings, everyone, and a very warm welcome to another edition of Marketing the Invisible. I'm Tom Pollard, beaming out to you from Sunshine Coast in Australia, joined today by Elinka Rutkoska. Elinka, g'day to you. A very warm welcome from down under. Where are you based? Thank you so much, Tom. I'm in Italy, so I think we can compete here by the sea. I, we, folks, this is the second time now for this interview. Alinka and I tried to do this on February 8th, which was uh, some five, four or five months ago now. And I had a glimpse outside of your window on your apartment. My God, you live in paradise there. I'm very, very jealous. Um, let's get on with the interview, though, and we'll, we'll, we'll stop the sightseeing tour. Um, folks, if you don't know Alinka, and you want to become a USA Today or a Wall Street Journal best-selling author, then you need to know her. She's the CEO of Leaders Press. Press. She's got 172 authors on the USA Today and Wall Street Journal bestseller list, which is freaking phenomenal. So that, Alinka, is the title of our, of our little interview today, How to Become a USA Today and Wall Street Journal bestselling author. Our seven minutes starts now. Question number one is, who's your ideal client? Our ideal client is somebody who either wants to grow their business and they're looking to have a lead generation book because Amazon is a search engine. So when anybody's looking for an answer and you can provide that with a book, then that's the book uh, that you want to do. Or somebody who's looking to leave a legacy piece, um, such as, for uh -huh. example, the the founder of DHL International wanted to tell his story of how he built his billion dollar empire. And we did that for him. So those are the two types. Uh, could be incredibly satisfying for folks. So can you, question two is what's the problem you solve? How would you sum that up? Six and a half minutes left. The problem we solve is uh, we help entrepreneurs turn their book ideas into bestsellers. And why would they want that? That's for several reasons to build their authority, build their credibility, have the big business card, because nobody is going to throw out a book that you give them. They will throw out a business card, though. And uh, a little book or even a full-size book that you can get on the USA Today or Wall Street Journal bestseller lists and into bookstores does that perfectly. Brilliant credibility builders, folks, but they're also great door openers. Um, mm. My first book ended up being a very good door stop. But once you get a bestseller uh, with a linker, then they become a door opener. Question three, five and a half minutes left. We've got these authors or budding authors, and how would they know they need to work with you? What, what's going on? What are the symptoms that would give them heads up and go, I need to reach out to a linker and find out more about how she does this? You would reach a spot in your business or a time in your business where you say, okay, we've done so many things. We've done ads. We've done this type of outreach, this type of PR. We don't have anything tangible. When people talk to me, they talk to uh, five, 10 others like me. So how am I going to send out? When you're an author, you send out. When you're a best-selling author, you send out. When you're a USA Today or Wall Street Journal best-selling author, you send out. Yep. And now you could potentially want to do it all by yourself, but you probably don't want to learn creative writing right now in the whole publishing industry and how to create a marketing campaign to hit the list and fail at it 10 times and then succeed maybe the 11th time. You probably have a business to run. So if you mm -hmm. want that authority, you want those extra clients that will find you through searches, you want to be the authority in your field. And you don't want to have a second job or project manage the whole thing. Like you value uh, the work of professionals and the whole idea of outsourcing and knowing that you should be in your genius zone running your business. Then it makes a lot of sense to hire somebody like me right. at Leader Press to uh, get that result for you. So, and so yeah, so so I mean, it is a specialty, and and you know, most of us don't have that specialty. We have something else which we make our money with. So. And I think a lot of people fail to realize that it's not just about writing the book. It's actually marketing the thing, getting out of the bestseller books. Uh, otherwise, it just becomes like, I don't know, a lot of people say their website is that, you know, it's like a billboard in the middle of the Sahara Desert. No one notices that you can write a book and the same have the same experience. So that's that's your expertise. Let's. We, you've already mentioned one of the mistakes, I think, in a roundabout way, which is doing it yourself, saying, well, I can just write a book and I'll do all the marketing. Question four is what are some of the common mistakes people make when they want to write a book or they want to market it? What else would you add to that list? Three and a half minutes left. 
Uh, very often people just write whatever is on their minds. Uh, so they want to get it out. They feel like they have a story to share. They don't really think about whether the reader wants to read it. So right. the first thing you should do is do uh, the bookshelf exercise, I call it, or it really is market research. So you go into a bookstore, you find a shelf and you say, okay, my book belongs to this shelf. So let's say that's leadership. You found it in a bookstore. Great. And then you want to think about your un unique selling proposition. How does your book stand out from the other books on that shelf? Hmm. And once you have the answer to this question, then you want to get started on your outline and really cleverly come up with potential calls to action. Where are you going to send people in which place in the book? How, you're, how are you going to weave it in seamlessly so that it doesn't look like one big commercial? And right. uh, once you have that, then you start writing. If you're going to do it yourself, you want to be really disciplined and say, okay, I'm going to write this book in a month or two months. And in order to do that, this is the number of words I need to write every day. This is how much time it takes me and stick to it. Uh, we've had people who've been writing their book for 10 years and never actually finished, worked with coaches, spent tens of thousands of dollars on coaches who happily oh, took their money. Yeah. Because the best clients are the, you know, committed slow learners, right? And then finally, <laughs> they, they came uh, to us and, you know, we got it out in less than a year. I have not heard that before. The best, the best clients are committed to slow learners. Uh, describes me pretty well. Um, so let's, let's go to, you look, you just laid out a great roadmap to move forward. And, and it, it, it's, there's a series of steps there, folks. You want to press rewind and play that again several times and take copious notes. Let's go to question six, because you covered the last two questions very well, thanks. We've only got 90 seconds left. Where do people go to find out more about what you do? A landing page where they can get some more good information or even make contact with you? The best place is leaderspress.com slash discover, where you'll, able to, you'll be able to go through a one-minute quiz that will tell you which type of book is the best for you if it's the lead generator the legacy piece or the uh, maybe a chapter in an anthology that will hit the usa today list and also since you're a listener you're going to get an audio book of outsource your book which discovers the which will help you discover the 17 steps to get your book done yeah fantastic folks getting your book out there is one of the most worthwhile marketing pieces of assets you can develop it's not going to uh, change the world for you but it's going to make a really big dent in your marketing efforts and it's worthwhile so it's leaders with an s press.com forward slash discover Alinka, we've got 20 seconds left what's the one question i should have asked you but didn't is the world not already full with enough books <laughs> And, and the answer, answer is no. Right. The answer is no. The world needs your perspective. Some people will only be able to resonate with yours. Plus, Perfect. they're all the benefits you get. I thank you so much for your time. Thanks for checking out our Marketing the Invisible podcast. If you like what we're doing here, please head over to iTunes to subscribe, rate us, and leave us a review. It's very much appreciated. And if you want to generate five fresh leads in just five hours, then check out www.5hourchallenge.com.